Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to solve the gardener's problem. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. This is the problem. Mr. Robert Garcia, a municipal hall gardener in San Pedro, Laguna, wants the four bushes of Sampaguita in the garden to be watered by a rotating water sprinkler. Mr. Garcia draws a diagram of the garden using a grid in which each unit represents one foot. Okay, The bushes of Sampaguita are at 1, 2, 2, 9, 9, 8, and 8, 1. He wants to position the sprinkler at a point equidistant from each bush of Sampaguita. Okay, so let us help Mr. Garcia by answering the following questions. Number one, where should the gardener place the sprinkler? Number two, draw the possible appearance of the garden. Number three, write the equation in standard form that describes the boundary of the circular region to be covered by the sprinkler. Okay, so to start with this problem, let's locate all the four points kung saan ilalagay yung mga bushes ng Sampagita. Okay? Nakalagay naman dito, di ba? It's one, two. So, where is that? Um, one. Okay, so this is the point. One, two. Okay, so let us label this. One, two. Okay? Saan pa? Two, nine. So, ito, 2, okay, and then you count 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, here, okay, so this is the point 2, 9, okay, saan pa? 9, 8, so 9, and then 8, okay, so here, okay, this is the point 9, 8, and then lastly, we have 8, 1. So, 8, and then 1. So, here. Okay, this is the point. 8, 1. So, these are the locations of the bushes of Sampagita. Okay, now, the gardener wants to position the rotating water sprinkler, okay, at a point equidistant to each bush of Sampagita. Okay, so yung rotating sprinkler, kapag didiligan niya tong um, apat na bushes ng sampagita, okay, magkakreate yan ng circle. Okay, ito, ito yung mga nadidiligan ng rotating sprinkler. Okay, okay, so saan kaya niya ilalagay ang um water sprinkler para maabot niya lahat ng bushes of Sampagita and such that equidistant yan sa lahat ng bushes ng Sampagita. Okay? So, kunyari dito sa point na ito. Okay? So, we want to know the coordinates of this point. Okay? Such that equidistant ito. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin ng equidistant? Um, this one, yung distance nito ay equal sa distance dito. Okay? Equal din sa distance na to at saka dito. Okay? So, pare-pareho ang distances ng mga yan. Okay? Kunyari, ito yung sprinkler. Ngayon, anong coordinates nito? Okay? So, of course, kapag tinignan nyo yung um, figure natin, Kita nyo, it's 5, 5 somehow, right? Pero kung medyo um, hindi maganda yung figure natin, baka hindi 5, 5. So, how do we get the coordinates of the position of the sprinkler mathematically? Okay? Doon papasok ang midpoint formula. Okay? Ano yung midpoint formula? Ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng coordinates ng middle point ng isang line segment. Kunyari ito, di ba? You can create a line segment here. Di ba? 
Kasi may two endpoints ka. Ito, oh. Okay? So, if you have a line segment, you can get its middle point. Okay? Sakto, di ba? Kasi kung ito yung sprinkler, ito yung middle point, ibig sabihin yung distance from the middle point to this point ay equal sa from the middle point to this point. Okay? Equal din dapat to. Okay? Kaya nga siya middle point. Git ng point ito. Alright? Okay. So, what is the midpoint formula? Okay. Ito yung sinasabi ng midpoint formula. Okay? So, kunyari, ito ay endpoints ng ating line segment. So, ito yun ha. Okay? The midpoint has coordinates. Ito yun. Ito yung midpoint or gitnang point ng line segment whose endpoints are x1, y1 and x2, y2. So, ito yung midpoint. Okay? x1 plus x2 divided by 2. This is the x coordinate. The y coordinate is y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay? Para makuha natin kung anong coordinates nito. Kasi ito yung point equidistant dito sa point na ito. Okay? At saka dito sa point na ito. Kasi gitnang point nga siya. Okay? So, let us see. Pwede nyo gawin tong x1, tapos ito yung y1, tapos ito yung x2, and this is your y2. And then you substitute. So, let us see. So, you have x1. So, 1 plus 9, you get 10. Divided by 2, you'll get 5. Right? Okay. What about for the y coordinate? y1, so you have 2. Okay? Plus y2, so you have 8. So, 2 plus 8, you get 10. Divided by 2, you will get 5. So, yung gitnang point nila has coordinates 5, 5. Okay? Also, Pareho ang distance na ito. Okay? Kasi ito ay gitnang point. Ngayon, to check kung tama bang 5-5 nga ito, okay, pwede nyo rin naman kunin ang middle point nitong line segment na ito. Kasi tingnan nyo, oh, equal din yung distances na ito. Alright? Okay, so using again the midpoint formula. Okay? So gawa ulit tayo ng isa pang Midpoint. Okay? So, let us see. Oh, let's say this is x1, this is y1, and this is x2, this is y2. Okay? So, you have 2 plus 8, you get 10. Divided by 2, you get 5 for the x coordinate. Now, for the y coordinate naman. So, 9 plus 1, you get 10. Divided by 2, you get 5. Okay? So, fortunately, ito rin ang midpoint ng line segment na ito. Okay? So, check. So, the location of the sprinkler, the rotating water sprinkler, is at 5, 5. Okay? Nandyan siya. Such that, equidistant siya sa lahat ng bushes of Sampagita. Okay? So, I think this is the answer for the first question. Okay? In second question, draw the possible appearance of the garden. Ito na yon. Okay? So, you may want to draw flowers here, the sampagita here, sampagita, sampagita. Okay? The water sprinkler here. Okay? So, you may want to do it. Okay? So, you may want to make it a garden talaga. Alright? Okay. And then lastly, for number three, we are going to write the equation of this circle. Okay? In standard form. Okay? Can you recall? Okay? What is the standard form of a circle? Diba ito yun? X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. So, we need the value for the center and the radius. So, I think okay na tayo sa center. Kasi ito yung center, oh. 5, 5. Right? This is 
the value of H and this is the value of K. Okay. Alright? Okay, now for the radius, marami naman kayong pwedeng pagkuhanan dyan. Diba ito ay radius? Okay? From the center to this point. Ito rin, radius. From the center to this point. Okay? Ito rin, radius. Ito rin, radius. Okay? O, kunyari, ito yung gagamitin natin to get the radius. Okay? Sige nga, kunin natin ang radius. Dito muna. Using the distance formula, we get the radius. Okay? So, ito na yung x1, y1. Ito yung x2, y2. Okay? So, x2. So, you have 5. Okay? Minus x1. So, you have 2. Then, squared. Plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay? So, what is the answer? You'll have square root of 5 minus 2, it's 3. 3 squared, 9. Plus 5 minus 9, negative 4. Negative 4 squared, you get 16. Okay? And what is 9 plus 16? 25. What is square root of 25? 5. This is the radius. Okay? So, we have the center and we have the value for the radius. So, we can write the standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay? Sige nga. Gawin natin dito. Right? So, we have from here, we have x minus what is h? 5. Okay? Squared plus y minus what is k? 5. Okay? Squared equals what is r? 5. Okay? Squared. Okay? So, ito okay na tong standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay? So, you may want to replace 5 squared by 25. Pwede nyong isulat yan as 25. Okay? Pag ginawa nyo yan, o di ito yung sagot ninyo. Um, x minus 5 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 25. Okay? Pwede rin ito. Alright? Okay. So, I think that's it. Okay? I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like this video. Share this video to your friends and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.